Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about uh, lab number five, which is talking about operational amplifier. So the operational amplifier circuit, like what we studied during the class time, is uh, integrated circuit, like this one. Like what I told you, this guy has uh, eight different legs. Uh, we are starting counting based on this pin. So we are start uh, counting from here, one, two, three, four, counterclockwise, five, six, seven, and then eight. So what we need today, we would like to use this guy for inverting amplifier. So like what I told you during the class time, this is the circuit for the operational amplifier. And these are the different legs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, based on this guy. So uh, we need to know bin number two, uh, leg number two, which is this guy. Leg number three, which is non-inverting, this guy. Leg number uh, four, which is negative VCC. Leg number six, which is the output over there. Leg number seven, which is uh, VCC um, positive. Uh, this is negative and this is positive. And this is the simple for the operational amplifier. So the first step for uh, using the operational amplifier circuit is to connect it into the port like this. So here I'm trying to put it in the circuit like this. Now I would like to connect this circuit. So for this circuit, this is for inverting amplifier. I would like to uh, connect leg number four to negative 15 and leg number seven to positive 15. So what am I going to do? I'm going to adjust my power supply. This is my power supply. I would like to adjust it. And for having uh, 15 positive and 15 negative, what I did, I connected here the positive terminal to the negative terminal for the power supply. And then these two will measure the input voltage. So this guy will be the input which is 15 so this terminal will be connected to number seven which is to this leg and this guy which is measuring the negative 15 will be connected to pin number four which is this leg if you try to measure the voltage for the power supply to be sure that you are measuring 15 and minus 15 let us see here so if I connected this guy and this guy, what I will have, I have almost 15. Now I will use this guy to measure negative 15. So this point is giving me negative 15. This point is giving me positive 15, and this is the common. This is for the power supply. Now. Let us connect the circuit that we are looking for. So what I need, I would like to uh, connect the 3.3 um, ohm to pin number two, so to leg number two. So I will connect it to leg number two here, like this. So this is leg number two. And then this guy, which at this point, is connected to the input voltage. I will apply two volt. So what I need, I will use this wire to connect this guy to the input voltage. And I will take like common voltage here, which is the negative terminal. And then this guy will be my input, which is two volt. I will connect my input through this guy. Then what is the next? I would like to connect between two and six, 10 kilo. So this guy is 10 kilo. I will connect it between two here. And where is uh, six? Six is this leg, so it will be over there. Now I have this circuit. So what is the next? I would like to connect between four and 15, negative and positive. So this guy is describing negative, so it is connected to four. And this guy is describing positive, it is connected to uh, number seven, which is this leg. So those, those guys will be connected to positive and the negative 15. What else? I would like to measure the output voltage, which is this guy. It is connected between six and the common. 
So connected between six and the common. So where is leg number six? This is leg number uh, six. And this guy is the common. So I will connect this guy to measure the output voltage, which is between leg six here and the common. And this guy will be the common, and this guy will be the power supply. This is what I'm going to do for this circuit. Let us start. I will use another one here, which is similar, but has uh, better connections. Here, this is the resistor, which is 3.3, .3, and this guy is the 10 kilo ohm and what we have here we have this guy is connected to the voltage source uh, which is the input and what I did in this circuit I try to use one common which is this so the positive terminal which is number three where is number three this guy this terminal I connected this guy to this common and at the same time I would like to connect my input voltage. So my input voltage will be connected between those. This is the input voltage. And then if I would like, I would like this input voltage to feed this guy. So it's going to be feeded from here. One will ask me, what about this point? This point is this. It is already connected here through this line. So this guy is connected to this guy. See, this is the same, and this point is connected to this one. So if you connected this guy to this one, and you connected this guy to this one, as if you are supplying your voltage input through these two. So these two will go to the input voltage, which is two volts. So what am I going to do right now? I'm going to use another power supply, and I will adjust it to measure two volts. as an input I adjusted it to measure 2 volt so what is needed right now is I'm going to use this power supply these two terminals for the power supply these two to feed my input so this is the negative and this is the positive so right now, this is my power supply, which is the input to this guy, which is this. Now, what about the positive and negative? For the positive and negative, like what I said, these two, between four and seven, between four and seven. What are those? So this terminal and this terminal, like what I told you. So this guy is positive. I will connect it to this positive. And this guy is negative. I will connect it to this guy. So now what I have, negative 15, positive 15, and Vm boot. What is the next step? The next step, I would like to measure the output. The output is between what? Between number 6 and between the common point. So between number 6, leg number 6, which is, this is number 5, 6. So this leg. So this guy, and between the common. So this guy is representing the output. So the output will be measured using this multimeter. So this guy is measuring the output. So this guy is measuring the output. This is my voltmeter that will measure the output between leg, uh, leg six and between the common. So the output is measured between leg six and between the common, those. And the positive and negative VCC between four and seven. So the positive and negative VCC between four and seven, which are those, between four and seven. And last one, which is the input between this point which is this, this one, is this one, and the common. So my input is this, this guy. So my input is through these two, which is the common, and this point, this point is the same like this. Please pay your attention while 
you are uh, doing this, this experiment because you have first to feed positive and negative. So this is what I'm going to do. I will turn on positive and negative VCC and then I will turn on my two volt. Now see what I'm measuring. The voltage is equal to negative almost six, negative 6.081. This voltage is the output voltage. So the output voltage here, like what you are seeing, the output voltage here is function of the inputs and these two resistors. So the output is equal to, because this is inverting amplifier, is equal to negative V inputs multiplied by the ratio of this resistor over this resistor. So 10 over 3.3 multiplied by V input. V input, it was equal to, this guy was equal to two volts. So two times this guy divided by this guy times negative one will give me the value of the output, which is this one. And this is what is needed from you for the first experiment for inverting amplifier. You will try to, up to prove that the output voltage is function of the input voltage multiplied by the gain. This is for the inverting amplifier. I'll see you later on for uh, another amplifier. Thank you and goodbye.